And despite stiff opposition from some lawmakers, a bill seeking to amend the Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria, Amcan Act, has passed third reading on the floor of the Senate in a controversial manner. The bill was passed into law on Wednesday after the chairman of the Senate Committee on Banking, Insurance and other financial institutions presented the report in plenary. Chairman of the committee, Senator Obasani, in his presentation, said the committee engaged with stakeholders such as AMCAN, Federal Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Central Bank of Nigeria and Nigeria Deposit Insurance Corporation, NDIC. According to the lawmaker, the stakeholders in their submissions pushed for AMCAN to be empowered to take possession, manage, foreclose or sell, transfer, assign or otherwise of property used as security for eligible bank assets, among others, adding that the amendment be, will provide for a quicker, easier and legitimate process of asset disposal. Properties belong to a debtor. They are moving beyond the collateral security itself and going after assets other than collateral security. As I understand it, I think the collateral by itself must have been determined by whatever bank that gave the loan at the time has been enough to secure whatever loan was granted. And the essence of collateral is that in the event of default, you lose that asset, which is collateral. But what, does, uh, what I'm reading here is that in addition to seizing that asset, they want to go beyond that to every other asset or property that is traceable to the debtor. I think I need some clarifications with that. So the essence of introducing this is to be able to say, if you took a loan and you refused to perform on this loan, Amcon should be able to attach any property that is traceable to you in overriding national interest. Well, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, here is the point. We have an Amcon that has been able to back, but, can, but that cannot buy. A bill for an act to amend the Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria Act No. 2, 2019, to extend the tenure of the Resolution Cost Fund, grant access to the special tribunal established by the banks and other financial institutions Act 2020, and to confer on it the powers to take possession, manage, foreclosure or sell, transfer, assign or otherwise of asset or property used as security for eligible bank assets and for other matters, 2021, third reading taken and the bill is passed. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.